Hi Stennis, welcome to my channel. It's your girl Kimmy. Just want to give you a little update. I was visited by the Reading Bar Council last week to have an inspection done on my salon, making sure it's nice and safe for you. And it was featured on ITV also, so I want you to check that video out. And please remember to join all my other social media platform, my Instagram, Style Nation by Kimmy underscore LTD. Also find me for other goods and services says on www.stylenationbykimmy.com it's your girl kimmy and i'm out please remember to subscribe like and share morning i'm stuart taylor i'm an environmental health officer at reading borough council just here this morning to do some checks on covid secure to see uh, this spot check at a hairdresser's in Reading is one of hundreds carried out by environmental health officers since the start of the pandemic. The aim of the visit is to check businesses have the right measures in place to ensure they're COVID secure. Being COVID secure means businesses have to keep up to date with the latest guidance and put measures in place to manage the risk and protect both customers and staff. Employers must by law protect their workforce and others from harm, and this includes taking steps to minimise the risk of coronavirus. I have to follow all guidelines, so with that, um, it's a bit more on the expensive side. We have to get gowns on a regular, because we dispose every gown after each client. We have to get more towels in, um, you know, more sanitizers and stuff. I have to have been less client come in the salon as well, and we only do appointments, so we have everything in place. Point that to them. If we find a problem, we try to explain it to them. And most businesses in Reading are quite happy to put it right once they know what the problem is. Ensuring people feel safe and happy to revisit her salon is Kimmy's number one priority, and the expense is a small price to pay after months of closure. Mel Bloor, ITV News, Reading.